In this video we are going to talk about top 10 reasons why black people are broke. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates before starting this video. African Americans made up about 12% of the population in the United States in 2015, according to data from the State of Working America. With 27.5% of the population living in poverty, they are also one of the poorest races. Perhaps more alarming is the fact that 45.6% of black children aged 6 and under are poor. Almost every other black kindergarten student lives in a home with a household income that is less than what the government considers to be sufficient to survive. Unfortunately, this pattern has continued for generations of black people, and I believe I have identified five main explanations for the race's poverty. Number 10. Black people spend more money than they make. Over the age of 18, African Americans account for 39% of MasterCard holders. Many of the 39% spend their monthly cap and rarely have enough money to pay off the balance in full at the end of the month. Black people are essentially wasting money that they do not have and may not have at the end of the month. Part of the reason for their high poverty rate is due to their habit of accumulating ever-increasing debt. Number 9. Black people don't support black businesses. With the exception of black people, every race appears to fund their own businesses. One of the most common ways to generate high residual income is to become an entrepreneur. Black people are buying an alarming amount of Jordan, Louis Vuitton, and Ralph Lauren items. These brands' prices are exorbitant, but the same black people will balk at paying $20 for a black-owned clothing item, claiming that it is too costly. Is the product too costly or not well-known enough in this case? Number 8. Black people don't save their money. When black people receive a large sum of money or a tax refund, they all seem to flock to the closest high-end fashion store to splurge. Black people rarely save or invest their money in items that will last or will give them more money in the future. Despite being the least represented race in the race with the highest rate of poverty, black people spend 4% more money annually than any other race, according to the State of Working America. There's a simple issue here, so reread the sentence and let it sink in. Number 7. Black people don't know how to invest. It should come as no surprise that investing in stocks or purchasing bonds is a foreign idea to many black people aged 18 to 25. Many young black people work and spend their money on things that depreciate in value or are not long-term investments. Automobiles and shoes are two prime examples. Number 6. Black people aren't working toward getting out of poverty. Even after reading this post, many black people would refuse to try to improve their condition. Following decades of slavery, black people must recognize that they have fallen behind in terms of generational wealth. Black people must struggle to build wealth so that they can leave their children trust funds or wealth that can be passed on. So many black people are preoccupied with themselves and their current financial situation. As a race, black people must plan for the future and move away from a present-oriented mentality. Wealth is not everything, but it has been shown that it provides greater educational opportunities and a more conducive place for children to grow and develop into productive members of society. The universe has its Jay-Zs and P. Diddy's, but they are few and far between in contrast to how most black people live. Change must occur, black people. This is something we can influence, because there are no more excuses. Number 5. Black people are uncomfortable with words like, sales, you're either selling or you're failing. You may not be able to sell goods, but you must be able to sell yourself and your ideas. You don't have to master persuasion, but you do have to get good at it. It is the most important ability that someone can possess. Even Warren Buffett, who isn't widely regarded as a master salesman, has stated publicly that persuasion is his most valuable ability. You don't have to be a hardcore salesperson to convince people to invest in you, but you do need to learn how to persuade effectively. People would follow you if you can sell your vision so you can demonstrate your worth as a human being. You could produce the next big microchip or the cure for cancer without the right persuasion resources, but no one will invest in your idea because you can't persuade them to do so. You would not be able to achieve your objectives if you are unable to persuade people to believe in your proposals. This is why the Mastering Influence program comes highly recommended. It is the most powerful way to close any closable human being. There is no burden on either the buyer or the seller, 
and it is more like guiding someone from one point to another in a rational decision-making process than it is like selling. Number 4. Poor people set impotent goals. Most people fail because they set their goals too high and then fail to achieve them. Instead, they set their goals too low and then fail to achieve them. If you're setting low targets and achieving them, it's time to lift your expectations and aspirations. You must maintain a constant commitment to outperform those around you. Don't aim for average because average is a waste of time. In the other side, don't set your goals so high that they become unattainable, because unattainable goals are abandoned. Set your targets just outside your comfort zone instead, so you'll be motivated to keep working toward them. The right goal will assist you in securing a better future for yourself and your family. You will be wealthy if you set the right target. Money is merely a means of gaining liberty. Number 3. Black people choose bad mentors. You must be cautious in selecting a mentor. People who don't have much money are eager to give guidance, and there are many people who pretend to be life coaches, company coaches, or performance coaches. The frightening part is that the vast majority of them have accomplished nothing. How do you know if a life coach you find on the internet has really accomplished something? Rich people, on the other hand, may be poor mentors. The character Gordon Gekko in the film Wall Street says, greed is fine. I made the mistake of pondering this line. I used to believe that greed could provide me with motivation. The reality is that greed is not a positive trait. Greed is a negative force. When you become selfish, the first thing that happens is that your ethics are undermined. You want to make as much money as possible as quickly as possible. It makes no difference who gets injured along the way. You don't have to follow in the footsteps of the person you're modeling yourself after if they're driven by greed. You have the option of picking and choosing which characteristics to imitate. You should follow in their footsteps in terms of ambition, but not in terms of greed. You don't have to follow their tactics if you don't follow their ethics. Number 2. Black people try to reinvent the wheel. Poor people are always attempting to come up with something spectacular and novel in order to improve their fortune. This is the most common pitfall you'll encounter as you work against your objectives. Instead of trying something different, you can stick to a tried and true method that will help you succeed. I try to buy stock in companies that are so good that a fool can run them, Warren Buffett once said. And one will, sooner or later. This statement holds true for me, which is why I suggest Jordan Belfort's straight line system. It's so straightforward that hundreds of struggling businesses and thousands of people have benefited from it. What kind of structure have you got in place? Are you attempting to invent a new wheel, or do you already have one? Number 1. Black people slave away for a paycheck. If you work for someone else, there are only two professions where you can make real money. 1. If you work for a commission-based business. 2. If you work in investment banking and have access to a large corporation's funds. Aside from these two exceptions, owning your own company is the only way to truly advance in life. I'm not suggesting that you leave your job right away. You'll need the right attitude to start your own profitable company without leaving your job or putting up a lot of money, and you'll also need to know how to collect, not borrow, money on the cheap. What are your thoughts on our video? What do you think about why black people are broke? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear from me again, Please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.